All right, everybody, welcome. We are here week two for our virtual online classes. Uh, we're gonna be doing the parents and kids curriculum for you today. Uh, just a big thank you to everybody that's been training at home so far. We really love seeing all the videos you've posted. Uh, we're sharing them on our IG, so at GB Diamond Bar for our Instagram. If you can, I need workouts you do at home, please film it, tag us in it so we can post it. The idea is for you to serve as an inspiration for others who are maybe having a tough time getting their body moving or, or picking themselves up and getting started. Um, just seeing you, I think, can be a really positive effect for, for others. So please, if you can, tag GB Diamond Bar in your workout videos, uh, and we'd love to give you the attention for it. So uh, we've got our usual suspects here today. We're gonna get started with a warm up, but you hear my voice a lot. I'd like actually, Coach Jerry, if you can come on up and lead the warm up for us today. All right, let's do it. Let's get started, guys. Let's start with 20 jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. ten. Let's do ten squats, nice and low. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. All right, hands and feet down on the ground. Ten push ups. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, guys. Right back up. Let's do that sequence one more time. 20 jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more squats. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down on the ground, last 10 push-ups. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, everyone. Let's go on our backs. Cross our feet high up. 20 choke sit-ups. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, Nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left foot down on the ground, right leg across. Bring your opposite elbow to your knee. Twenty crunches, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Triangles, make sure you get your hips nice and high in the air. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, everyone. Let's go ahead and warm up our necks. Let's uh, bring our chins to our chest like we're saying yes 10 times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chin to your shoulders like you're saying no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And last one, ear to shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. All right, 20 bridges all starting on your right side. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. And 20 hip escapes also starting on your right side. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's sit up, we'll do our break falls, 10 of them. Make sure you crush your arms across your chest. Most important thing, tuck that chin down into your chest because when we go back and stop the mats, you don't want to hit the back of your hands. Starting with 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, guys. Let's lay back and relax here for a little bit. You can stretch your arms and your legs nice and wide, make a big X with your body, and just catch your breath for a little bit. And let's all sit up. We'll start some stretches. We'll start first with our left leg out, right leg in. Make sure your leg is completely straight, your knees not bent right here, and we'll hold for a count of 10. Ready, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch, other side. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, both feet out in front. Again, make sure your legs are completely straight, your toes are pointed up to the sky. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Let's go ahead and bring our feet nice and close for butterflies. Try to open your hips out. If you can, get your knees all the way down to the ground. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven. seven. Eight, nine, nine ten. ten. All right, and feet far apart. If you can, open them out a little bit longer, a little bit wider, and reach down the middle. Try to walk your fingers up slowly, 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 a little farther each time. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. All right, last one. Let's go ahead and throw our feet over ahead and hold. And let's roll back slowly. Fix your keys in your belts. If you don't have any, you can fix your hair, fix your makeup if you need to. And uh, thanks, guys. We'll get started with a couple techniques now. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Professor Jaime and my trusty partner, Isla, here. Um, we're on week two for parents and kids, so the first skill that we're looking to develop uh, this week is guard retention, and then for them to gain the understanding of keeping their guard up and keeping some protection between her and myself, and that's gonna be her legs. The legs are what? This is the guard, right? What is your guard? guard. The guard is your legs. Everybody pat your legs. This is what we're working with. So the first drill, I'm gonna give you three levels, kids. I want you to pay attention. There's gonna be three levels for you. Uh, if you're at level one, that's great. If you can push to level two, even better. If you can push to level three, that's the ultimate goal that we're looking for. I'm gonna have Isla, she's six years old, for reference for any of the parents. Isla is going to uh, show you all three levels. So Isla, I'll have you lay down right here. Go ahead, have a seat. So the guard is what's protecting you 
from the person on top or from an attacker. We have our strongest part of our body, that's our legs, protecting us. And we always want to keep that in between uh, us and the attacker or us and the partner. We always want this in between. So it's a huge fundamental skill that we want to work on for you this week. So the first level, level one, looks like this. The partner is going to put their feet on the hips or feet on your legs. And you just want to get them used to holding this guard. So I'm going to walk a little bit and Isla's going to slide with me. Kids, make sure that you lift your head off the mat a little bit so it's easier for you to turn as your parents turn. And as they move, you use your feet to stay stuck to them like glue. So parents, you can help out. Make sure you don't get too far. They need a little bit of a, a close quarter so that there's tension. So that's level one. You want to be able to work with your son or daughter on this skill. Level two looks like this. So pay attention. We'll take those feet and we'll throw them to the side and I'll move. Kids, get your feet back to your parents. So I'm going to move as much as I see fit. Isla's goal is to find a way to move her hips and follow me. And you can up the challenge really good. The further you go, the more work they'll have to do. They can invert some of them have an easy time with this, find a way to get to me, go ahead. And that's level two. Have a little bit of fun with it. Give your child, find that edge of what they can handle and how far you can push them. Find that line. You don't want to push uh, too little or too much. Find a level that's good for them. Level three is a little bit trickier. Uh, you're now going to take away the contact from them. So Issa's going to put her hands on the mat. Kids, if you're on level three, put your hands on the mat. Now you're going to learn to follow without the aid of contact. So I'm going to move. Issa's going to try and follow me. If I go in a circle, she learns to circle that way. I'll circle the other way. So she learns to follow. And notice she's keeping her guard as something to protect her. As I move, you can try and trick them. If they're getting good, you get a little bit tricky, but she always has her feet, her guard here to protect. So again, one more time, level one is with contact, teaching how to move with you and understanding that that's their goal. A little older, they're getting used to that. Level two is pushing and I move and they learn to bring their guard back in a bunch of different ways. That inversion is really cool. If you teach your child uh, the back roll or if they know the back roll, they can do that. Level three is no contact at all. They put their hands by their side to help aid them. Make sure the head's off the floor. Good job, Isla. And we gain our skills to getting our guard back. Thank you and good job. Let me know how this goes at home. Please post some videos. We love to see it. It inspires us and you'll inspire others. Just as a recap with your kids on that one, uh, figure out where they are, whether it's level one, two, or three, or build them from one to two to three. Um, and just work until you find that they're proficient at the technique or at the skill that you see that they can achieve. You just want to get them used to it and make it something that becomes natural uh, and make it fun. You got to have fun. Jiu-Jitsu is not worth anything unless it's, it's fun. I, I love Jiu-Jitsu with all my heart and it makes me feel like a kid and it allows me to be a kid with my kid. And our goal is to pass that on to you and your family. All right, everybody. So the second skill that we're going to practice today is the technical lift. Again, I'll show you a beginner's version and an advanced version. Um, the technical lift is just a way that we get up off of the ground in a safe way that doesn't move us forward towards a target. It helps us get up and away uh, with our eyes wherever we need them to be. So uh, just as an example, real quick, if you're ever knocked down in a situation where you need to get up and an attacker is in front of you, you don't want to get up the normal way that people do and move up into some sort of attack. So with the technical lift, the advanced version, you end up getting up and moving back away from your partner. I'll show you a version that's good for kids, good for adults, and good for everybody at all levels. So we'll start here. We'll do the beginner's version first. Isla, go ahead and have a seat sitting next to me. So the beginner's version looks like this. Want to scoot back? Good. Beginner's version looks like this. I'll turn to the side and put both hands on the mats. Do the same, turn to that side, both hands on the mats. Now, I pick my legs up and I bring them back as I stand up. Let's sit down, let's do the other side. So we'll be here. I was just knocked down. First thing I do is sit up. I'll put both hands to one side. And now we get up and scoot our legs back. Again, one more time. Kids, pay attention here. We were just on the ground using our guard. We made enough space so we see the chance to sit up together. Take both hands and put them by your side on the mat, both on the same side. Go ahead, both on that side, very good. Now bring your legs up and get back to your feet. 
All right, good job. Let's look at an advanced version. Isla has not been prepped. Try and follow along. So I was laying down. I'm going to sit up. We're going to use our shield and our spear. So our shield, one hand is going to shield our head. It's going to block this whole side. If an attacker is coming, we can block to that side if they are striking. Our other hands flat on the mat. Good. You have your shield. This one's going to be the spear. So from here, we lift ourselves up and float a little bit. Kick once with your spear. Now bring that leg back and stand up. Pretty good. And we're up. Let's do it again. Same side. So we're here. Scoot back a little bit. Yeah. We sit up, make our shield. Lean to the side, put your hand on the mat, and you have your spear. Now there's the trick. When you get up, throw that kick so you make sure that you have something to keep some distance, but bring this leg back underneath you. Now turn your stomach down to the mat and you're back to the ceiling. This will let you pass your leg through, put it by your hand, and now we're up with a technical lift. We're able to stand up in a safe way, keeps our hands in front of us, our eyes in front of us, and it allows us to move backwards instead of forwards into the attack. Good job, let's recap one more time. I wanna make sure that your kids and you get the skill as well. So we sit up first, easy version, both hands by our side, stand up. Harder version, we lay down, we sit up, make your shield, strike with your spear, tummy to the mat, stand up, our hands are up. All right, thank you. Try this a couple times at home with your kid. Make sure if you're starting at the easy level that you challenge them to do the shield and spear, do the advanced version. I think anybody can do it once their body gets used to the balance. Um, you'll be physically capable. So good luck with this one and let me know how it goes. All right, everybody, let's put uh, these together into a sequence where you're gonna use the break fall we did in the warm up, uh, the guard retention, the keeping the feet in front of you from our first skill, um, and the technical lift from the second skill. So this is good if they were ever at school or you ever get knocked down and somebody's in front of you and you need to get back up. It's a way to practice it all together. Uh, for the break fall, we're actually gonna start from standing. So it's the same as you did in the warm up, but watch when I push, maybe scoot back a little. When I push Isla, she's just gonna squat first before she does it. So I push, she does a little squat and breaks her fall. Go ahead. Just like this. Now it doesn't have to be a hard fall. From here, I'll circle with my partner at whatever level they are used to. If it's a beginner level, I'll circle with the feet on me. If it's a more advanced level, you know, you can skip to two or three and make sure your partner, keep that guard in front of me, keep it in front of me, is there. Now, last step. You're gonna move towards your kid they're gonna push you away to make space. And now technical lift, let's go. She's up, hands up, she's ready to protect herself. Let's do that one more time. So I'm here, I'll just give my partner, my friend, my daughter in this case, a little push, and she breaks her fall. Squats down, break fall, so she protects her head. Her feet are up, she's protecting herself. She's gonna follow me as I move. I've even pushed her feet, she's gonna follow. When I get close, push me away, make some safe space, and technical lift, let's go. Good job, hands up, hands up, and we're set. So you can work that drill um, and adjust it for your training partner or if it's your child, it could be a sibling. Um, just make it as realistic as you can handle. Make sure you're creating enough space before you get up so that the person's not on top of you. You're able to get up and assess the situation and keep yourself safe. Good job, kid. All right. Bye. All right, everybody. We have a one minute challenge for you this week. So uh, we're going to see who can do the most break falls and technical lifts in a minute. Uh, at the highest level, we want you to do a full break fall and do your technical lift on the left side and the right side, alternating each time. If it's a beginner level, no problem. Just seating and getting the technical lift going uh, with both hands on the side and popping up to our feet is enough. So find the level that you are at. Kids, find your level. Push to a higher level if you can. Uh, we're gonna put one minute on the clock. This is one we'd love for you guys to film so we can post it on Instagram and Facebook. And we would love to announce the winner of who can do the most. We're gonna see it. Who can do the most? Technical lifts and break falls in one minute. So minute on the clock. Let's get you guys started in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice job. Try and go left to right. Excellent work. Good. See if you can beat the coaches. See if you can beat your professors. See if you can beat your classmates. You see a good pace. Make sure you're not banging into any furniture at home. Nice work. 20 seconds down, let's go. Good job. Halfway there, we're at 30 seconds. This is where it starts. Let's push. Take fall. 
Technical lift. Nice job. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Push yourself. Excellent, keep going. 10 seconds, let's go. Push it, push it, push it. Push, 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 push when you're tired. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Five seconds. Quick, 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 up to the feet. And time. You guys count how many you did? No. I think you did 100, like 120 and 125. I think I said 19 or 20. All right, everybody. I hope you had fun at home. Make sure you're in a safe space when you work this challenge. Parents, try to do it with your kids. We need to move our body as well. Uh, things deteriorate quickly if we don't stay in motion. It's inertia. And kids, try and beat mom and dad, beat your brothers and sisters, and beat your dog and cat. Thank you guys. We'll see you next week. Please remember, we are, you will get this email on Monday. Please do this class on Monday and Wednesday with the kids, with the family. And then on Friday, we're gonna go live for our first Zoom class. And we have an onboarding at two o'clock on Tuesday. We'd like everybody to log on at two o'clock on Tuesday so we can practice using Zoom. We all get a chance to see each other's face and say hi and interact a little bit. Uh, we can troubleshoot anything, answer any questions, even scheduling, things like that. Uh, and then look forward to going live for the first time on Friday. Um, we're all doing social distancing. That does not mean social isolation. Let's make sure we stay connected, stay together, and this is temporary. We're gonna come back stronger with a new appreciation, and we can't wait to see you here. Take care, guys.